<clears throat> all right, hey, shalom, makim, shalom. As always, first and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rochakodash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and the elders of Great Millstone that have taught us his truth and that are well. And peace and blessings go out to the hopeful members of the elect, all right, scattered throughout the four winds of the earth that are in the hopes of receiving salvation and mercy, all right, during the time of Jacob's trouble that is fastly approaching, okay? Now, this will be a fairly quick video just regarding uh, some news information that came up this week regarding uh, ultimately the fulfillment of Amos 8 and 11, okay? Wherein the Heavenly Father prophesied that in the latter days he would bring forth the famine of the word, okay? And throughout this week, uh, more and more information is coming out, uh, out of the woodworks, all right, of China bringing forth the cyber attack. Now, this is information that goes back a couple months, um, around November or October, if I'm not mistaken, regarding the same scenario, all right? But they were also saying that it was either going to be China, it was going to be Russia, it was going to be... the So it's it's all fog when it comes to really pinpointing who it is, all right? But as we understand prophecy and the end all goal of what these other nations is, all right, is to bring forth order out of chaos, all right? To bring chaos and within that destruction, bring forth a new world order, all right, which is ultimately going to be brought and ran through a technocracy okay everything being done via technology and merging man with machine okay and as we see more like i said more and more information of this coming down the pipe okay esau's about to do it this week you had a lot of uh internet outages and blackouts with certain wi-fi companies like at&t and uh, as well as T-Mobile, all right? And a lot of people were losing their goddamn head. You know, they couldn't make phone calls. They weren't able to, you know, communicate with their loved ones. And people were already in the spirit of just being pissed off, okay? As a matter of fact, real quick. Everybody keep going. This quick video, uh, you know, shows forth and is a testimony of that, man. All right, where you have this Jake that works as a... Uh, you know, a receptionist at AT and T, and people were going up to him and asking what the deal is. You know, telling him that he should fix it. Okay, when he can't do anything. You know, but let's just listen to the estate that people are in when you have these outages come down the pipe. Playing in this shit, this bro. It's unacceptable. You know, this you is know? crazy because I can't even get a text message or a phone call out. But yeah. sir, what do you want me to do? Like, what the hell, man? Hey, I know it's not your fault, but the problem matter is... No, it is his fault. How is it my to, fault? He needs to fix it. We've got an issue here with AT&T. I can't get a phone call or a text out. Yeah. I'm here in Maitland, Florida. Sir, we're ha we're having an outage. You know what an outage means? I can understand what an outage is. So However, what the fuck do you want me problem? to do, though? What, what do you want problem. me to do? No. You can't do anything. We got to talk to corporate. We got to talk to... Yeah, where's corporate? Because Man, loud and call. Corporate, Obama, Trump... Biden, whoever y'all want to, bro, go, go. <laughs> you know, Jake's being facetious with it, but uh, like you were saying, you can call all these representatives for your country and they're not going to give a damn when they actually do it, okay? Because they're the ones that are pulling the strings, all right, as to bring forth the chaos, okay? As the, uh, you know, definition of Hegelian dialectic is, man, all right, bringing forth uh, pressure from above, from beneath, you know, side to side, and Esau is going to do what? Bring forth the resolution, which is ultimately you, all right, getting down with this new way of living that he's going to install, man, all right? As it says in 2 Corinthians 2, as a matter of fact, let's get that first, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, all right? So, call hello, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, that we can see the end all result of these certain scenarios okay because the average person is just gonna go and take the carnal route all right he's gonna buy all these you know walkie talkies these emergency phones you know he's gonna grab a a bag that is you know 
resistant towards uh, EMP. They're going to go to the fullest extent, okay? But for us that are in the faith, all we got to do is trust in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and that's it, all right? The Lord's going to take care of everything else, man. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and 11. It says, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, okay? And the new device that he's bringing forth is, like I said, all right, the fourth industrial revolution, all right, where the new way of living is going to be done by the means of technology, all right? Now, before I get uh, Amos the 8th chapter, I also want to bring forth this one last clip uh, regarding Joe Rogan speaking about what would happen in the scenario of a power grid, okay? But before I play it, a quick point that I want to say is the apostles of Great Millstone, the bishops, and the elders of Great Millstone have been saying this uh, decades ago, man. All right? So when you see these people making these talking points, we're not hearing anything new. Okay? But it solidifies that the words of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai are not only faithful and true, but they're coming to pass, man. All right? Listen very carefully. If Matter of fact, let me get that scripture next before I play that. Second Ezra 15 and 1, it says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, okay? The things that will come to pass in the future, okay? The servants of prophets have obtained the secrets of the Heavenly Father, all right? Which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper. All right. For they are faithful and true. All right. It's a point blank period. Everything that is found within the volume of the book has and will come to pass, man. Okay. You can bet your bottom dollar on that. All right. The power goes out for too long. All those rules are bullshit, and that guy who will bury a body for you is yeah. the kind of person you want on your team. 100%. The also, if the power goes out, I'm probably going to show up to your place. I got a be, spot for be you. Be in the gym. Yeah. Go, can I just be in your gym? I've thought about like literally setting up a ranch out here. Yeah. Just specifically for if things go sideways. <laughs> Man, matter of fact, a lot. Yeah. Just well, I mean, you're going to keep playing... You know, I'm just reading the comments. One woman actually got, you know, she on point. She said, no one wants to destroy our power grid, but our own government. Point blank, period. Okay. I'm going to see what the responses are to her comment. There's just a bunch of bullshit talking about the sun and all that. <laughs> but let's keep playing. I think you're pretty set up. Ranch. This place is safe. It's not that safe. Dude, really? if things go sideways, it's not safe anywhere. You, we have to understand that this society that we have that stays civil and, and beautiful and, you know, and equitable and we have all this change that's happening in the world, this is only possible if you can get goods and services to people and if people have access to information. It is not hard to shut that off. If the power went... All right, and that's what Yahweh... Uh, no, Yahweh, I still like you. A matter of fact, yeah, how wish I did say that. Let me get that real quick. I forget exactly where in the uh, New Testament it is, though. Yep. Matthew 24. And let me start at 42. It says, watch, therefore, for you know not what hour you, your Lord does come. Okay. And what are we looking for? The signs and the tokens that Yahweh was speaking about uh, in the beginning of this chapter, okay? As well as throughout the volume of the book, okay? The Heavenly Father has let prophecies for the elect to see and indicate when, all right, the end times are here, okay? And guess what? We're in those times, man, all right? Where almost every week you see nothing but the fulfillment of the Bible taking place, okay? Verse 43. It says, but know this, that if the good man of the house had known in, in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore, be ye also ready, 
For in such an hour as you think not, the Son of Man cometh. Okay? Echoing what Apostle Paul said in uh, 1 Thessalonians, the fifth chapter. Okay? The day of the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night. All right? Especially over here in America, Babylon the Great. Okay? Where everybody is in this, um, you know, society that is full of nothing but gross darkness. Okay? Everybody is, you know, beguiled in this uh, world, man. All right? So when that power grid gets shut off, everybody is going to be in a position of sh being in complete perplexity, man. All right. And I know I'm speaking for, you know, all you brothers. That's the day that we can't wait for. All right. Because we live in a society where pride has budded, as it says in Ezekiel, uh, the seventh chapter, man. All right. And what does the Lord tell? Uh, matter of fact, let me get that in the, uh, the Apocrypha real quick. Second, there's just eight and 50. It says, for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. All right. Point blank period. OK, very soon the Lord is about to judge and kill a lot of people, man. OK, because the only ones that are not in the in a position and spirit of being proud is the elect as well as the body of believers, man. All right. So now let's go back to this video and uh, let it keep rolling. And out in this country, if someone attacked the grid and just destroyed our power grid and destroyed our satellites, if there was a coordinated effort by multiple superpowers to just destroy our satellites, yeah. destroy our grid, we would be in chaos quickly, pretty fast yeah yeah quickly very quickly and then if it lasts too long and there's some sort of a hostile military takeover of the country you're living in a totally different world than the one you live in now now you live in china and you never thought that was possible you thought that you know you would be able to just exist here and demand universal basic income and that's the delusion that everybody has taken up, man. All right. Like I said, it's going to be a very beautiful time because everybody has been groomed up in this society. All right. Of being completely docile of the fact of what's coming down the pipe. All right. As a matter of fact, real quick, let me get this um, in second edge of the fifth chapter. Where's that? Oh, it's right here. Right, this is Second Ezra chapter 5. And right, 1. It says, But these are the signs. All right. The time will come when all people on earth, all right, will be in the grip of great confusion. Why? We didn't even get it. <laughs> Let's go to Amos 8 and 11 now. Because there's going to be no answers, man. All right. The only ones that are giving you the straight and skinny. All right. And the truth of the matter is the servants of prophets. All right. But in that time, guess what? Wit is going to hide itself. All right. Behold. All right. Amos chapter 8 and 11. The days come, said the Lord power, that I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread nor thirst for water, all right? But of hearing the words of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, man, all right? Because the oracles of the Heavenly Father that are being spoken via the servants of prophets, all right, are the only things that make sense in this world, okay? Because when you hear these, you know, people that speak on, you know, News that is found within these different outlets that's kind of hard to come across. You know, they bring forth good information, but when it comes down to the answer as to how to overcome the destruction that is coming towards us, they don't got it. All right. And that's why it's imperative to listen to the Heavenly Father's sermons, man. All right. Because they're giving you the 
problem as well as the solution to the problem. All right. So let's go to second Ezra five and read again from the top. It says, but these are the signs. The time will come when all people on earth will be in the grip of great confusion. The way of truth will be hidden. All right. And no faith will be left in the land, meaning the elect. All right. And those that believe wholeheartedly in the truth of Yahweh Bahashimi Hawashai are going to be well kept. Okay. They're going to be in the cut and the Lord's going to keep them in a spirit of being completely just chill. All right. As it is written in Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, man. All right. It says wickedness will increase until it has become worse than you have ever known it to be. The country that you now see ruling the world will lie in ruins with no inhabitant or traveler there. Okay. And that's going to be done via this order out of chaos that Esau is going to bring forth by destroying and taking down uh, the power grid. All right. We just saw the testimony of the Edomites that were pissed off at Jake. All right. Thinking that he was the one behind it. All right. But when they come to the reality of it being done by the government, by Esau. All right. They're going to lose a goddamn head, man. All right. So as we consider this and understand what the future awaits, all right, as Apostle Paul wrote in Romans 13 and 11, we'll end off with that. Romans 13 verse 11. It says, And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, okay, and when you go into this definition for sleep in the Greek, all right, it goes back to the concordance 52, 58, hypnos or hypnos, all right, which sounds like what? Hypnosis, all right? It says, through the idea of subsilience, figuratively, spiritual torpor, all right? Meaning that you become fraudulent, all right? You start getting lethargic you become in that spirit of being burnt out and right now is not the time to be in that spirit man all right because once again the proof is in the pudding we see the prophecies right in front of our faces okay and that should give you a sense of motivation rather than being in that spirit of just being mopey man all right because we're living in a time where our forefathers yearn for, you know, matter of fact, let me get that in first Peter. I think that's first Peter one and nine, if I'm not mistaken. They yearn to see what we see right now. OK. Right. This is first Peter chapter one and nine, and that's ultimately receiving salvation. All right. And finally seeing the covenant that our heavenly father made with our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and unto Jacob. Okay. That same promise of having faith in that is about to come to fruition in this generation that we're living in. It says first Peter one and I'll start at eight. It says whom having not seen you love in whom though now you see him not yet believing you rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls, of which salvation the prophets, all right, have inquired and searched diligently, who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you. Okay? And that's the exact time that we're living in, man. All right? Now let's read Romans 13 and 11, but now in the NLT, it says, This is all the most urgent for you now how late it is. Time is running out. Wake up, for our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. The night is almost gone. The day of salvation will soon be here. So remove your dark deeds like dirty clothes and put on the shining armor of right living. Okay? Meaning the word. As Apostle Paul said in Ephesians uh, the sixth chapter, put on the whole armor of righteousness. Okay? 
So with that, Lord's will, this video is edifying straight to the point. I just wanted to give my, uh, you know, as I was in my t watchtower this day, I came across a lot of information regarding that, uh, you know, the outages concerning T-Mobile and AT&T and just more uh, information surfacing of China performing this so-called cyber attack, all right, which is ultimately Esau. So with that, giving all praise, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Recha HaKudash. Once again, double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the elect.